Okay, so, what we want to be able to do in this video is to express a cubic as a product of three linear factors. So here is our cubic, and what we want to do is we want to be able to write it as this three linear factors, this product of them, and what that means is that we want to completely factorise this cubic. So I get x plus something times x plus something times x plus something else. These are all linear, they are all factors, and I'm multiplying them together, so effectively they are a product. So, in order to do that, I first need to be able to find myself a factor. Now, in general, if I just wrote down any old cubic, finding a factor can be very difficult. However, because you know, we don't want to spend the rest of our lives trying to find a whole number uh, solution, um, of finding a factor, in this case we are given it. We're, well, we're given one of the three. Show x plus 7 is a factor, so what we need to do is we need to show that it's a factor first, and then use that information to then find the other two. So, to show that x plus 7 is a factor, we must use the factor theorem. So, f of minus 7 is equal to minus 7 cubed plus 6 lots of minus 7 squared take away 13 lots of minus 7 take away 42. Right, okay. So, this is where I'm going to cheat. Core 1 is in general is non-calculator, but I'm going to cheat to speed this up. So we're going to have minus 7 cubed, which is minus 343, plus 6 lots of 49 is 294, plus 13 lots of 7, uh, 77, 84, 91, take away 42. So minus 343, plus 294, that gets you minus 49, plus 91 gets you 42, take away 42 will get you 0. Therefore, uh, x plus 7 is a factor of f of x. Okay, so tick, we have shown that x plus 7 is a factor. The next job is to be able to find out, or be able to write, this cubic as the product of a linear term and a quadratic term. Now in order to do that, we're going to have to use polynomial division. So, x cubed plus 6x squared minus 13x minus 42, divided by x plus 7. So, we do x's into x cubed is x squared. x squared times these two terms is x cubed plus 7x squared. Draw a line to perform a subtraction. 6x squared take away 7x squared is minus x squared. Take away 13x, bring that down. x is into minus x squared go minus x. Minus x times these two terms is minus x squared. Take away 7x. Draw a line, perform a subtraction. Minus 13x, take away minus 7x, gets me, take, well, minus 6x. Bring the minus 42 down. x is into minus 6x is minus 6. Minus 6 times these two terms is minus 6x minus 7, uh, minus 42, sorry. Perform, draw a line, perform a subtraction, and as we should, we get 0 down here as we would think so, because it is a factor. So from that, we can now say that f of x is equal to x plus 7 times x squared minus x minus 6, that quadratic that's on the top of the division. So you've now written it as a product of a linear term and a quadratic term. But we want it as three linear terms. So we must factorise the quadratic to get x minus 3, x plus 2. And there we are, we've written it as the product of three linear terms. So from this, 
what you can see is that this is pretty much uh, two parts of an exam question. The first is showing that x plus 7 is a factor. And notice how I use the factor theorem and not polynomial division. The polynomial division will come into the next part where you want to write f of x as a product of three linear factors. So you use polynomial division to do the division so that then you can factorise this quadratic. Okay? So in the next video, we're going to look at something relatively similar, but what we want to do is end up sketching the curve at the end.